I'm Heidi Neck. I'm an associate professor of entrepreneurship at Babson College, and I was responsible for writing the social entrepreneurship portion of the United States Gym Report this year. Um, we measured social entrepreneurship in perhaps a different way than everyone is reading about social entrepreneurship. I think we always jump to the conclusion that social entrepreneurs are nonprofit entrepreneurs. This is true, but we also asked the sample of entrepreneurs in our report, what type of goals are you pursuing? Are you pursuing purely economic goals? Are you pursuing purely social goals? Or are you pursuing social and economic goals concurrently? And what we found this year was that the number of entrepreneurs identifying as pursuing social and economic goals concurrently doubled this year from 2007. So 44% of the entrepreneurs in our sample classified themselves as what we would call um, social entrepreneurs. Secondly, 52% of the social entrepreneurs are actually the younger generation, those starting a business at the age between 18 and, say, 24 years old. And additionally, I think what's most important is that it's going to be the social entrepreneurs over the next five years, according to Jim, that will be generating the most jobs. Traditional entrepreneurs, those that said they're pursuing purely economic goals, are on average will I don't, produce about 28 jobs. And our social entrepreneurs, on average, will, uh, will probably generate about 42 jobs. So that's a significant difference. Um, finally, even though the, there's great news about social entrepreneurship in the United States, I would like to have a word of caution. There is not good entrepreneurship versus bad entrepreneurship. I think what we're trying to say as a report and as a global study is that there are great opportunities in the social sectors, and we're seeing entrepreneurs take advantage of those opportunities, not only for social reasons, but for economic and profit reasons. So this is a great thing, but we can't look at entrepreneurship as good versus bad.